Good evening. Today, happy 4th of July, which is the day that we celebrate freedom or independence from Britain, I suppose, but tyranny, freedom to be our own. And uh, as I thought about freedom, I, want, I thought I remembered this, this passage. Galatians 5 1 he says stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage and as I consider this today you know it's like in America or whatever nation you're in um, in America we experience a ton of of freedom um and and we are extremely blessed here more than more than most or more than all really probably um and but even this freedom that we have here is it's temporary you know um and it's and it's not and it's not really the freedom that we that we need you know like even though you live in America and you're free you could be a slave you know because our freedom doesn't have anything to do with being able to make choices and 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 worship freely and speak our mind you know our freedom comes from being freed from bondage to sin, being freed from the wrath of God, you know, being freed from being a slave to sin and unrighteousness and being God's enemy, you know, to be free from that. Like even in America, if you don't know the Lord and you're free, you're in trouble, right? Like, you're, even if if you if you if you live in America and you don't know the Lord, as far as I'm concerned, you're still a slave, you know. So, but if you, but even in America, and there's going to be a point in time where we lose our freedoms, you know, probably sooner than later. Um, it's right around the corner. But even if you live in in a communist nation right now. You know, in China or Russia, even if you live there and you know Christ, even if you are not completely free in the physical, you can be free, you know? So it's not a matter of, of our circumstances. It's a matter of where we are with the Lord, you know? Because if you know the Lord, you can live free no matter what your circumstances because our hope isn't about anything here you know we're, we're waiting for the Lord to return and free this entire planet from the bondage of corruption and decay um, so our hope isn't in this world our hope is eternal not not carnal or temporary so so our hope shouldn't be in any nation and, and or any freedom or any keeping of the freedoms that we have. Our hope is in being freed from the wrath of God by Jesus Christ and being able to live in freedom and worship God wholeheartedly in love because we've been freed from sin and wrath and we can live before him and, and love him freely because he gave his son freely for us. And that's something we could celebrate every day. Amen.